Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is lecture number 4 and in this lecture we will study radiator of transformer. Radiator is a stack or bank of hollow pipes connected to tank through which oil circulates. It is used to dissipate heat of transformer oil. It helps in cooling of transformer oil, winding and core under loading condition. The pipes or radiators are connected to upper and lower part of transformer tank using a wheel. Here in this picture you can see that these pipes are called radiator or stack of these pipes is called radiator. Here you can see that these radiators are connected to the tank of transformer. Now I tell you how radiator performs the cooling function in transformer. See this is transformer tank and it is filled with transformer oil. Core and winding are immersed inside this transformer oil. This is conservator and these are the radiators. These radiators are connected to the tank of transformer using two valves. Okay. Now when transformer is under loaded condition then heat is produced inside the transformer in core and winding. This heat is produced due to heating effect of electric current. Now there are three modes of heat transfer. As you know that first mode of heat transfer is conduction. Conduction is transfer of thermal energy through direct contact between solids. And radiation is transfer of thermal energy through thermal emission. When we talk about convection, convection is the mode of heat transfer through liquid or gas. So in transformer, heat is transferred from core and windings to the transformer oil using the convection method of heat transformer. Why convection method? Because here the heat is transferred by using a liquid that is transformer oil. That's why this method of heat transfer is called convection. Okay. We know that when heat is transferred to the transformer oil, then transformer oil becomes hot and we know that volume of oil increases on heating and it becomes less dense. So when volume of oil increases, obviously it becomes lesser dense. Okay. So when oil becomes less dense, so this hot oil rises to the top of this transformer tank. Okay. So when this hot oil rises to the top of transformer tank. So when on reaching the top of transformer tank, it enters in into the radiator of transformer through upper valve of transformer. Okay. So from this valve, this trans hot transformer oil enters into the radiator or stack of pipes. So on reaching the radiator of transformer, oil spreads in the radiator tubes which increase its surface area for convection. From radiator, heat is transferred to outside atmosphere through convection. In this way, cooling of oil takes place. Okay. So, when oil becomes cool, then it again goes into the bottom of this radiator. At the bottom of radiator, again, this oil enters into the tank of transformer using lower wheel. So in this way this cycle repeats and cooling of transformer oil works. So this is all about the cooling of transformer oil. For better cooling forced oil or fans are used. So we will discuss the detailed cooling schemes of transformer in my upcoming videos. So this is all about the radiator of transformer. I hope you like this video. Thank you. Jai Shri Ram.